and welcome to Shell Point Today for Monday, November 23rd. I'm Adam Brown. On today's show, we will take you out to the construction site for the new golf clubhouse, where Bob Southern will give us an update on the progress. And we'll show you the renovations taking place with the amphitheater on the island. Robin Church of the Salon and Spa will introduce us to some of her staff and services. And we will get a preview of the library book talk coming tomorrow with Harriet Ferton Reese. But first, don't forget about tomorrow's academy class on the Mongols. Terrifying the civilized world for more than a thousand years, the bloodthirsty wars of the Mongolian people are legendary as well as two of their notorious leaders, Genghis Khan and Uzbek Tamerlane. The empires these leaders created had huge influence on China and India. Adrian Kerr will get into all the exciting details tomorrow at 10 a.m. in the Grand Cypress Room of the Woodlands, so make sure you're all signed up. In just three days, homes all over this country will be filled with the aroma of delicious meats and tasty treats. Ah, I can almost smell that yummy pumpkin pie even now. If you've been eyeing that November 26th date on your calendar for a while now, but maybe you're not planning to cook your own meal or spend the day at someone's home who is, then take note. You can enjoy the wonderful experience of a Thanksgiving holiday meal right here at Shell Point at one of our three dining options. First, you can start your day at the Island Cafe with a casual breakfast cooked to order and hot off the grill. You can also enjoy a light lunch instead of a traditional holiday meal, and there will be fresh baked pies available for takeout. The cafe is open from 7 a.m. till 2 p.m. on Thursday. Also on the island, at the Crystal, you can enjoy a festive Thanksgiving buffet for $27.95. Hand-carved roasted turkey with dressing, baked ham, salmon, herb roasted chicken, and other holiday favorites will be provided for your feasting pleasure. Also on the buffet, a variety of vegetables, salad bar, and plenty of holiday desserts will be available to choose from. The Crystal will be open from 10.30 a.m. till 2.30 p.m. And over at the Woodlands, you can celebrate your Thanksgiving at the Palm Grill from 11 a.m. till 4 p.m. Menu options include traditional turkey dinners with all the trimmings, filet mignon, ham, or Florida grouper. Dinners include soup or salad with prices ranging from $23 to $29. While your bellies may be expanding on Thursday after a big meal, there's other expansion that's already taking place here on the Shell Point property. Take a ride just northwest of the estuary and you're sure to find quite a structure rising from the ground. Soon Shell Point will have a shiny new golf clubhouse. Project Development Manager Bob Southern is standing by to give us a brief overview of the large structure, which will provide many uses beyond just those for golfers. And afterwards, he shows us the remodeling of the amphitheater that's taking place on the island. Hi, I'm Bob Southern. You can tell because my name's on my hat. I'm the project director for Shell Point, and we are here at the construction site of the proposed coming future Shell Point Golf Club Clubhouse and a lot is going on and we're here to give you an update on what's happening. Our, uh, the block masons are busy creating the external and internal walls of this structure and uh, have been here working for about three weeks now, making very good progress, a lot of exciting things happening and you can start to see the size, the shape and the outline of the building and get a good feel for what's coming. We're now standing in the area where the future grill will be. This uh, grill will be for the golfers to come in when they're halfway through their course and grab a quick bite and then head back out to hole number 10. Uh, as we walk over this way, you can see the uh, workers. They are working on the uh, support uh, members for the uh, covered walkway up above uh, that will be part of the dining experience that will be on the second floor. Fairly extensive dining areas, banquet halls, and uh, meeting spaces upstairs. Pretty much all the golf stuff is on the ground floor. This uh, new clubhouse will be about 35,000 square feet of amenities meant for all of Shell Point. In addition to all the golf functions, we will have a beauty salon, we'll have an aerobics room, an exercise class area, and we will have nice facilities throughout, offices and meeting space, future banquets, uh, many, many things here that will enhance this uh, Shell Point community and bring the, uh, the golf course up to the standard that we have all desired for so long, having a beautiful clubhouse to go along, along with the beautiful golf course. Several months ago, a interested donor came forward who wanted to have a 
American flag flagpole installed at the clubhouse in honor of their father, uh, who was a uh, war veteran and a resident at Shell Point. So um, we wanted to get that done as soon as possible so that it would coincide uh, the, the unveiling with Veterans Day. And uh, we arranged to have the flagpole brought in and installed and move the construction fence to separate it from the, the construction site. Eventually it will be a part of the clubhouse project. Uh, but for now, it will be here on display with a, a short sidewalk so people can uh, walk up safely and see the commemorative plaque and enjoy this beautiful addition to our clubhouse. Uh, the, the donor was very generous in providing this um, for his father, who uh, was unaware of it and was very surprised uh, when it was unveiled. It was a very touching moment. So we have a nice, new, beautiful 50-foot flagpole here uh, with uh, the appropriately sized flag. Uh, to honor America and our veterans. And we are here at the amphitheater at the lagoon on the island. The amphitheater is undergoing a renovation project to bring it up to uh, current needs and standards and to enhance the area and the beauty of the structure. Uh, we're going to uh, have a nice uh, smooth walkway here with pavers where the, the chairs go for sunrise service and other events. Uh, enhancements to the stage, new railings, a gorgeous trellis up at the top of the amphitheater, and other nice design features that you will appreciate, I'm sure, once all is done and cleaned up. Uh, we're now at the top, near the top of the amphitheater, and as you can see, the grass has been removed in the tiering area, uh, awaiting the installation of paver bricks uh, throughout this area. The rationale for removing the grass and installing paver bricks was that we wanted to make sure that we had a, a more stable uh, environment for folks to walk on to get to their seating when we have events out here uh, with the hope that we will have more events in the future and it will be a safe uh, area for people to get to their seats and enjoy those events. The vertical risers are now being uh, stuccoed to improve their uh, appearance and will be uh, stained in the future, a nice color. Um, and then to my left is the area where the uh, trellis structure will be installed. And you can see an area, half circle area, has been carved out of the walkway the, on, going to the recreation building. And uh, this will be an area that, that has a, a half circle trellis around it. And then the trellis uh, structure runs about uh, 40 feet in either direction to kind of finish off the area nicely at the top. Um, this will be a, 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 a beautiful, beautiful viewpoint up here. And as you can see uh, uh, around me, there is also a, a viewing area being created at the far northern point, which will allow you to get out of the, the motion of the sidewalk and enjoy the, the beauty of our lagoon uh, and uh, the beauty that is the island at Shell Point. It's been a busy time over at the island salon and spa. Many residents are getting ready for the holidays with a new hairstyle, nails, or skin care, or a nice massage. Robin Church welcomes some new additions to her staff and talks about the massage services available. Hi, my name is Robin. I'm the salon and spa manager here at Shell Point, and I'd like to just welcome Shelly back. Shelly has been here for several seasons. And now she's... I'm back here for good, and I'm ready to, uh, for all your customers to come in, and I'll be happy to give you a, a new style or a really good haircut. I'm so happy to be, be back um, and living here in Florida full time. So I'll see you soon. Shelly is just such a pleasure to work with and talk with, and so we look forward to seeing you. This chair is waiting just for you. All right, so give us a call, 489-8400, and we'll see you soon. I'm here outside our massage room in the Island Salon and Spa. It's a very nice room. It's very relaxing. And massage is available here six days a week. Uh, we have Marianne, who's here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We have Suzanne, who's here on Mondays and then Robert, who is here Tuesday and Saturday. And Suzanne has also uh, began with a home massage program. She's doing a lot of home massage visits on Wednesday, and um, it's really uh, very nice for people to just be able to 
have the massage and then relax in the comfort of their own home. Uh, one thing too I'd like to add is that massage is a great way to enhance physical therapy. Uh, we have a wonderful physical therapy department here at Shell Point and we can work very closely with the therapist to be sure that we're helping to enhance the therapy that they're doing. Massage is a great way to alleviate chronic pain. Um, that can be, you know, very uh, debilitating and massage can really make you feel much better with that. Um, we do use cryoderm in our massage rooms, which is a great pain re reliever. Um, it uses a, um, a blend of Boswellia and um, it's very effective. It has a very high concentration of the active ingredients. And we do have that in a gel, a spray, or a roll-on, whichever is easier for you. So we hope to see you enjoy and relax and rejuvenate with one of our massages. We have our therapists are wonderful, very experienced, and really know how to target those areas and make you feel better. We look forward to seeing everyone back at Shell Point. Um, some of you remember when the Island Salon was half the size it is now, and we had green walls. Uh, now we have this beautiful spa and double the space and much more services. And not to mention, we have the best talented staff to provide those services. They are absolutely awesome. And um, also, the Arbor Salon was once at the Woodlands, and it was in the Woodlands Commons in just uh, what is now the Buttonwood Room. So now they have that beautiful space at the Arbor Salon, which is really nice for them to work in. And we're able to do some nail care services out there as well. The Pavilion Salon at one time was located on the third floor in one of the patient rooms. And now we have a very nice space located on the first floor, right near the annex. Um, and uh, it's a much better space and it's a lot larger for us to be able to, to work in. So the salons have undergone a lot of changes and over the years, and it's been an exciting journey. And I wanna thank each and every one of you for your patronage, because it's really because of you that we are here today. So thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Tomorrow, resident Harriet Ferton Reese will give a library book talk on the lowland by Yumpa Lari. To find out more about the talk, let's hear from Harriet herself in this month's book review segment. Hello, I'm Harriet Ferton Reese and I want to tell you about a unique event here at Shell Point. This event has been happening for many years, but you may not know about it. The event is called the Library Book Talk, and it takes place at 2.15 on the fourth Tuesday of every month. If you enjoy reading, then this event is for you. Volunteers bring to light outstanding books available in the Shell Point Library. Many of the authors who have written these captivating books have received the Pulitzer Prize for Literature or other distinguishing awards. Author Nora Epfram said, and I quote, reading makes me feel like I have accomplished something, learned something, become a better person. Reading makes me smarter, end quote. So says Ephraim, a well-known American journalist, essayist, and novelist. But I see on the calendar that November 24th is the fourth Tuesday of this month. The library book talk will be in full swing on the island at 2.15 on the 24th, and I shall have the pleasure of presenting a national bookseller, a book entitled The Lowland. Its author, Yumpa Lahiri, 
received several awards for this book, including the Man Booker Prize. I found this book enticing and exciting. It is set in two very different cultures, India and America. Slate Magazine called it a must read, and I agree. USA Today described the lowland as memorable and potent. Then USA Today went on to say that Lahiri has reached the literary high ground with the lowland. Now that sounds a bit suspicious. High ground, lowland, this is not a conventional book, you can easily tell. So on November 24th, you will have the opportunity of attending one of the library book talks. After that, I recommend that you remain on the lookout for other library book talks as the fourth Tuesday of each month rolls around. Thank you. And now it's time to take a look at today's happenings, academy news, menus, and Village Church Connections, right after this Listening to the Words preview from David Howenstein. This week on Listening to the Words, please join me in taking joy in a few of the 10,000 ways to give thanks for our lives. Shell Pointer Dan Warner shares childhood memories that support his unending feelings of thanksgiving. Shell Point Life magazine editor Mary Kay Grimaldi showcases the contributions of resident TV chef and spot play reader, director Ruth Duber. Shell Pointer Glenna Irwin remembers the strange, newfound joys of creating a Thanksgiving dinner in Indonesia. Now retired in Southwest Florida after being a special education program teacher in the Bronx, Hank Heitman writes wonderfully on how we can all appreciate how thankful we are for our families. Minister Wayne Robinson defines the interconnectedness that spreads Thanksgiving naturally throughout the earth. And Shell Pointer Betty Modis reminds us of the importance of hamming it up with humor as expressed in incomparable Grandmother's Thanksgiving Invitation. David Howenstein reminding you that all this is yours just for tuning your TV to Shell Point Channel 12 at the top or bottom of any hour every day this week. Remember, a new show starts every Monday. And if you know somebody here at Shell Point whose TV service does not include Shell Point Channel 12, or a relative living north of us, just let them know they can listen to all these Listening to the Words radio shows anytime online at www.shellpoint.net slash listening. And that prompts me to wish a happy Thanksgiving to all. Welcome to the happening segment of Shell Point TV. I'm Bev Chandley and this is Caitlin Van Scoy and we're going to tell you the activities that we offer for you here at Shell Point today. We're going to start with men's match play tennis at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. That's at 8 o'clock. 8.45 we have virtual bowling. That's at the Resident Activity Center. We have 9.15 billiards at the Resident Activity Center and also the Lollygaggers Paddlers will be meeting at the kayak storage at 915 for their weekly trip out. Pottery with instruction available will be down in the pottery studio at 915. Then at 10 o'clock we have men's match play tennis at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. The Suzy Cube boat heads to Matanzas on the Bay at 10 o'clock and you do need to sign up for the Suzy Q trips. At 10.30, we have the Disciple Men's Bible Study Group in the game room of the Woodlands. Table Tennis Playing Clinic will be going on in the Tarpon Room at 10.45. And we have 11.30 Health Connections class, Agility and Flexibility. That's in the Health Club and it's currently full. Here's Caitlin to tell you what's going on this afternoon. Well, thank you, Bev. At 12 o'clock, we have Mahjong. That'll be in the Woodlands Table Room. 
We move to 115 for advanced table tennis. That'll be in the tarpon room on the island. And then Samba the card game will be available at the Resident Activity Center at 115. From 1.30 to 3.30, the model train room will be open for complimentary tours and viewing. That's down in the island tunnel. At 1.45, we have a health connections class, balance and mobility training for beginners. That's in the health club on the island, and that one is currently closed. At 2 o'clock, the beady-eyed bee club will be in the oak room at the Woodlands. And journey through grief will be held in the chapel of the village church at 2.45. At 3 o'clock, a Health Connections class will occur, Pilates Stretch, that'll be in the Health Club. At 3.15, the Shell Point Singers Rehearsal will be held in the choir room of the Village Church. The Singles Table will be available at the Crystal Dining Room at 5 o'clock. And at 6.30, Beginner's Square Dancing will be held in the Health Club. Also at 6.30, Duplicate Bridge will be played in the Game Room at the Woodlands. And at 6.45, we have Movie Night. It is a 1944 film, The Fighting Sullivans, that'll be in the social center on the island. We conclude our Monday at 7.30 with square dancing that'll be held in the health club on the island. Well, we're so glad that you joined us today. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Hi, I'm Terry Coleff with your Academy information from Monday. At 10.30, Anatomy of Words meets in the Oak Room of the Woodlands and they welcome everyone interested in the English language. Tomorrow we have a new course by Professor Adrian Kerr, The Mongols, and a new course, Marriage Equality in the Church. This one presented by our senior pastor of the Village Church, Andy Hawkins, and he will be joined by his son, Matthew Hawkins, who works for the Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission, ERLC, of the Southern Baptist Convention. He serves as the ERLC Coalition's Director. Menus for Monday. In the crystal room, the crystal platter is chicken Milanese with herbed farfalle and asparagus. The dinner special is old home cooking night for $13.95. The soup of the day is tomato. In the island cafe for lunch, the special is a Philly cheesesteak panini with chips for $7.75. The dinner special is grilled tilapia with mango and cranberry rice and fresh broccoli for $8.75. And the palm grill is closed on Mondays. All menus are available 24 hours a day at www.shellpoint.net. Hi, I'm Randy Woods, and I'm here today as we talk about the recent shoebox ministry for Christmas. I'm here with Bonnie Bishop and Marcia Sealand, and they both have not only participated, but have shared in great joy, and particularly with Bonnie yes. and your husband, yes. Jerry, right. getting this all organized. Yes. We had the help of Jan in the office, who really organized and did a lot of corresponding to get everything set up. Okay. And then Charlotte and Bill White also helped us. So, so you were quite the committee. I remember yes. that first day back in October when you were packing up, uh, getting all the boxes together and constructed the boxes. them. Yes. Yeah. And that was great fun. And there was a huge turnout for that. Mm -hmm. Lots of companionship and talking and laughing. And yeah. we, comp I think we did. 400 boxes in about an hour. 400 it, of the boxes. It was overwhelming. It, it, it was thrilling. Yeah. What did you enjoy about it? I, just the fact that we could take them home and fill them. <laughs> yes. Well, that's an interesting story. Let me ask, first of all, Bonnie, you and Jerry, along with Bill and Charlotte, right. organized this. Yes. Um, why were you willing to do this? What motivated you? Well, we've been doing this, both families have been doing this for a long time, and we were approached by the church here, and we said, sure, we'll do it. Okay. And uh, it just kind of went. Yeah, <laughs> it did go very smoothly. Yes. Things were well yes. organized. Yes. And then, Marcia, have you done this before? Or is this... No, this was my first experience making the boxes. I've, I've filled many before. Okay. But, but to, to make the boxes and get them? My okay. husband and I worked together yes. on some chairs. Yes, I saw that. Okay. <laughs> now, you mentioned that you've done this before, but uh, yes, a, kind of a special tradition of filling the boxes. You do, what, two or three boxes? A uh, few more than that. Okay. <laughs> well, tell me about uh, why you do, why you fill them, and how you honor your family with the shoeboxes. Well, we have many grandchildren, and we have 18 still in school. 
Okay. And so we thought to honor them, they've been so blessed in their fam with their families and their faith. Mm -hmm. And I thought this would be a, such a wonderful opportunity to reach others. Yeah. And so I told my grandchildren what we were going to do, and they were just delighted. Wasn't that exciting? Mm -hmm. And we've seen the videos of the children all over the world, from Africa, mm -hmm. throughout Asia and Europe, mm -hmm. and there is a sparkle in their eyes when they get that little box. Yeah. It must be wonderful to know that uh, with your grandchildren, with families, mm -hmm. and the friends here that have participated, the joy that is being shared around the world throughout the holiday season. So many of the children over there never receive a gift. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. this is a real special treat for them. Now, what was the goal? Remind me, how many boxes were we hoping to get? 400 boxes. And did we even and come close? That seems like a lot of well, boxes. Well, bo the Sunday before, we had maybe a few stragglers, maybe 40 boxes left. Okay. But they disappeared that week. There were several mysterious mystery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Don't, yeah, they just. The, the, okay, so they, they all disappeared. Yeah, oh, they were all and they gone. all come back? And they all came back, 398 of them. Well, I thank both of you for your work and involvement, as well as the whites, and uh, part particularly appreciate yeah. your enthusiasm of getting involved and sharing this excitement. And as Bill has prayed, and as Pastor Andy did on Sunday as well, as these boxes now leave the United States over the holidays right. and are being distributed all over the world, mm -hmm. we pray God's richest blessings on the children as mm -hmm. they receive it. And they learn about Jesus with the gift mm -hmm. that they get. There's also mm -hmm. included some tract in their language that these children can understand, so they learn about Jesus. And that's a wonderful yeah. part of this whole ministry. Yes. Obviously, there are gifts, there yeah. are candy, there are toys and T-shirts, but the reading material in their language, right. uh, Bible study mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Christian nurturing yes. material. Mm -hmm. And so we pray that uh, oh, yeah. God will just bless that. Right. And we'll look forward to the opportunity to hear a report later and how these boxes have indeed touched brought, and yes. brought joy and touched lives. Yeah. Well, thank you all for being with us. Thank and again, <laughs> and we thank you for your help and your You're leadership welcome. in this whole project. And for the residents, for the staff, those who have participated, thank you for being thank generous you. and being part of the Shoebox Ministry this Christmas season. Thanks for joining us for today's program. Return tomorrow when Sheriff Mike Scott will give us some driving safety tips just in time for the holidays. And Gary Keating will offer some golfing tips before you take to the greens after a big holiday meal. Until then, this has been Shell Point Today for Monday, November 23rd. I'm Adam Brown, and on behalf of everyone here at SPTV, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you again tomorrow.